Hey, what's going on there? It's YouTube Sick Eric back in with another video. And today we're going to be doing a quick video, a little trick for your fingerprint sensor. And um, it's really, really cool. So stick around. Um, usually on most Android phones, like for instance, this OnePlus 7 Pro, uh, it only lets you add uh, about four fingerprints on here. So if I were to add another one, that's all that you could add. I think on the Samsung Galaxy S10, you could add five, maybe, I'm not sure. But um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you a little trick to where you're only gonna take up two spots of all your fingerprints. And if you're like me, you know, you got your wife, you're married, you got your wife asking, hey, how come my fingerprint is on your phone, blah, blah, blah. Well, that's because I have all my fingerprints on here, you know, my thumb, my index finger on both hands. And that takes up all the spots. So you can't add your fingerprint and use the password. But if you're, you know, depending on who you are, you don't like to have your fingerprint on there. I don't care. My wife can go on my phone. I don't give a damn. I have my fingerprint on her phone as well. So I'm going to show you a way to take up only one slot and use two fingers to use up one and then your other hand as well. So let's go ahead and delete all of these just to show you for the sake of the video. So now we're going to add fingerprints on here. So you're going to click on add fingerprint. And what you're going to do is you're going to alternate between your thumb and your index finger. Scan, scan, and try to get all different angles of each of the fingerprint. That way you get everything on there. And then you're going to go to the next step. And then you're going to do the same thing. Try to get some funky angles on there and get it all registered good to go and then boom you are done so now what you just did is you just registered two of your fingerprints in one boom works every single time and then you got only one fingerprint showing on there but you got two fingers registered so that is a really really cool thing and it works every single time no matter what angle you're at if you do a weird angle do it on the table boom you are ready to go so now let's go ahead and do the left hand we're gonna do the same process scan be sure you move it around different angles different areas of the fingerprint and then we're going to go on to the next step. Now this one is the funky one. Try to get everything, tip of the finger. And try to get everything on there just right. And most phones, like I said, only let you do only one fingerprint at a time. So you can't register your thumb twice like on the OnePlus 7. Pro, it only lets you register one finger at a time. Samsung, you could do uh, your thumb twice just to get more accurate reading, but you can do this on a Samsung as well, and you will get an accurate reading just like that. So now you got all four of your fingers registered, and you only have two slots taken up, so now you could add two more on there. So that is really, really cool. Uh, the Samsung, you could do this on a Samsung as well. Theoretically, you could do this on any phone with a capacitive fingerprint sensor. Uh, like I said, theoretically, I've just tried it on in-display fingerprints, but go ahead and give it a try. Let me know in the comments down below if it does work for you or not. But this is going off the OnePlus 7 Pro. Uh, it works on the Samsung Galaxy S10 as well. Any phone, theoretically, it should work on. But it's really, really cool that you could literally register four fingers on your device and only take up two slots on there so really really cool just wanted to show you guys and let you know how it is done so hope you enjoyed this video found it useful give me a thumbs up uh, like this video if you enjoyed it don't forget to subscribe and i will see you guys in the next one peace